everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another makeup tutorial, but this one is going to be Angelina Jolie inspired. So many of you have commented on my pictures and videos and said that I look like Angelina Jolie, which is a major compliment because she is incredibly beautiful. So Erin Parsons and I got inspired and thought we would get together and do a makeup tutorial totally inspired by Angelina Jolie's classic makeup look. She tends to do a similar kind of style makeup for her red carpets and stuff like that. So we're going to recreate that for you guys so you can follow along. Hey guys, it's Erin Parsons here and I don't have any one specific reference, but the one thing is Emily does look like Angelina even without any makeup on, but we're gonna do a little cat eye, a darker arched brow, that beautiful nude lip, and I will show you how to make the lips look even fuller without putting a lot of lip liner on. So we're gonna start with some foundation and I am just going to match Emily's face exactly. Just simple, luminous foundation. Should I talk? <laughs> <laughs> when we were trying to choose this makeup look, we were looking through a million photos of Angelina Jolie yeah. and we couldn't pick one exact photo to recreate because she just always looks so good. Well, I think the transformation for you will definitely be in the darker brow and putting on false lashes. So I'm just using like a highlighting concealer under your eyes and towards the nose and we're going to sort of bring it onto the cheekbone too and I just want to brighten you and lighten you a little bit because I mm -hmm. think Angelina tends to be a little more on the fair side. Yeah. I'm just going to wipe off the foundation with just a little q-tip and some remover so your natural lip color shines through. Nobody reads me. One person <laughs> commented on one video that Erin left foundation on my lips so she's doing this for you out there. She's removing the foundation <laughs> from my lips. Go on. <laughs> One comment. Oh, it got to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me deep. <laughs> Angelina has a bit more of an angular face, so yeah. I think adding the highlight, the highlight, and then the contour is going to bring it more there. So I think a huge difference between Emily's eyebrows and Angelina's is hers are obviously much more fair, but also hers are thicker. So I'm going to make them thinner and darker, more arched. I think you'll see a huge difference after we do that. You know, normally I do little like hair mm -hmm. strokes, very fine, but for this, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it and see what the shape brings us. It'll be interesting to see what I look like with a skinnier brow. I know, I'm so curious myself. I usually fatten your brows even more. Yeah, cause that's what I like. Me too. <laughs> well, what if we love this skinny brow? Now we're gonna do skinny brows all the time. No. <laughs> <I'm> like, no. <laughs> I go too archy? I have to see that picture. Oh, wow. Ooh, I like that brow. Dang. So I'm just gonna take some concealer and just kind of go on top of those brow hairs. And that way you're I trying can... to cover them? Yeah, I'm kind of trying to fake it. Cause if you're from far away, the brows look good, but if you get up close, you can see like, oh, there's a lot of hair sort of that she's like missed in the pencil. So it's, this is a little kind of Instagram trick. I'm gonna go into eyeshadow. Okay, let's do it. And the eyeliner is probably the biggest part of this look, but I think the eyeshadow will make a difference too because we're going to pull it out. I'm going to do more of a gray-brown color. So basically, I'm just going into the crease of the eye and giving some structure, but I'm going to pull outward. One thing I notice about Angelina's makeup, I've never worked with her, so I don't really know how she wears her makeup, but I notice that she doesn't do a ton of eyeshadow. The framing of the eye seems to be all about the eyeliner. I'm just taking a clean brush and I'm just blending the edges. Again, pulling outward. We can talk about our, who our favorite Angelina Jolie is. Let's play a game. Yeah. Oh, I know who my favorite Angelina is Who's already. your favorite? I loved when she did the movie Gia. Oh, yeah. yeah she like, played the 80s supermodel Gia. Yeah. 70s. 70s I or 80s. I can't remember. <laughs> it was 70s. No idea. She was amazing in that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I mean, it's a little campy, but it's such a great oh, you picked makeup like, film. You picked like an actual character. I was like, I love Angelina Jolie with Billy Bob Thornton. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. She was like bad girl Angelina. Totally. I, I liked too. them together. Well, that's what the essence I want to give you today. Bad girl Emily. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Kyle will be like... Uh, it's so intense. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So now, I might have you curl your lash. Let's do it. 
pretty good though. Looks great. So with Angelina Jolie's eyes, I like how I always call her Angelina Jolie. <laughs> yeah. Like not Angelina, Angie. <laughs> it seems that usually she does a very thin in the inner part of the eye. I'm just gonna use a brush just to smoke that out a tiny bit, but I do wanna keep that really thin. At that iris, we're gonna start to pull upward. I feel like this defines her eye shape. And right now I'm just using a non-waterproof pencil because I wanna be able to blend it and smoke it. And I'm just using a really small brush and I'm smoking it upward and outward. And we'll start to pull into that like cat eye point. Let's see that so far. That's kind of doing it. And I'm just gonna do it very thin on the outer corner here. Take my brush again. I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and I just clean up with a little remover and I just sharpen the cat eye. I think that that's kind of giving it right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Now I'm just gonna add in some black waterproof pencil at the base of your lash line. It does make the lashes look much thicker. And because we're gonna put a false lash, it will help hide the band. I'm not gonna bring it all the way in because I think Angelina's depth is mostly from here over. So now we're just taking the liquid liner and I'm just gonna seal over top of that, but I'm not gonna go all the way to the top of the line because I like that smoky effect. This is more for the depth and the darkness. I'm just gonna do it just to the outer corner of the eye. Wow, yeah. That feels Angelina-esque to me. And you're giving that arch in the eyebrow. Oh, crap, I lost it once you said it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and do a couple coats of a really black mascara. So we're gonna use the Lash Sensational. I love this mascara. And then we're gonna add false lashes. I really like this makeup. I do too. It's really nice. Wow, Whoa. that's crazy. Whoa. She feels like Angelina. You see the arch in the brow and you see the end of the lash. Sick. Yeah. Now for the eyelash. I'm gonna use a fluffy black false lash. Something that wings out slightly at the end. But I'm gonna test this on Emily first because we're going to have to cut the end off. I want this pulled out. When I look at Angelina, it seems her eyelash doesn't start till, actually it's just a little more in this area. So the same place we kind of started the liner, it's gonna start there. So we're gonna cut off a little bit of the lash at the end. When you have a lash like this where the band is more thick, I'll sort of bend it backwards so it'll make it more formed to the eye. I think that helps it go on easier. And I'll let the glue dry for a while so it's tacky. Go ahead and look down. I always have the person look down because then the eye doesn't crinkle. Let's just see so far. Does that look good? Oh, that's cute. So I'm just using that same shadow that I've used on her eyes and I'm gonna start to contour her nose, which is already tiny, but I think it's gonna make it sort of angelic. Wait, I kinda wanna see this happen. <laughs> okay. Wait. I'm just gonna go under and a bit on the sides here. Oh my God, it does make a difference. I'm gonna make it a little stronger so you're gonna look a little crazy and like stripey on the nose, but then I'm gonna blend out with a bit of concealer. But look at that Ooh, already, wow. do you see that? Yeah, I kinda like that. <gasps> We're gonna come from the eyebrow and down the side of the nose. I think that kinda works. That does make everything look more skinny. And you have a tiny nose. <laughs> <gasps> I think that works. <laughs> yeah, oh my what? God. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Oh my God, pinched. That is freaky. Now you definitely are looking like her. I can see it. Let's see. I don't know if the audience can see it, but I can see it. Holy moly. Yeah, wow. So she definitely does that. She or must. her structure is like that. She I probably mean, just looks like that. I'm sure like most celebrities for red carpet do a bit more um, contour. I mean, I know I contoured yeah. my girls before, but uh, I never would have looked at her and thought she did this until I've done it to you yeah. now. So I'm gonna start to contour your cheekbone and I'm still using that sort of gray shadow, but with an angle brush. 
And I think that something more gray makes it look a little more real because it's actually like a shadow versus you seeing this like warm bronze look. So I'm gonna go a little heavier. I'm gonna go ahead and do under the jawline too to make Ooh. the jaw a bit more angled and a little on the chin. I mean, like I said, the structure is already there. It's not hard for me, but <laughs> this does make a difference. Now she's got some stripes on her face. Cats and Broadway. Oh my God, I like it though. <laughs> I don't care. I have to blend out the other side. Because <laughs> this side's really stripy. Oh. I'm gonna come back into the contour. I'm just using something a little touch warmer, so I'm gonna use that almost like a bronzer or a blush. It doesn't look like Angelina wears a ton of blush, so I think this warmth might just give you what you need. I feel like blush is like a warm and rosy thing, and yeah. I feel like that's not her thing. Yeah. Like to be warm and like. Uh, it's, I know you mean the sexy, more, tough, yeah. sort of. That is not She's the not blushy blushing. thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> she makes us blush. Yeah. <laughs> but that's very different for you. You love blush. You I know. always look like, you know, sweet and wholesome, and the blush probably does that. Right. So now, not anymore. Like some Angelina Jolie. Where's my Billy Bob Thornton? <laughs> <laughs> some would ask for Brad Pitt, but you could have Billy Bob. It's okay. <laughs> I'm calling for Billy Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna bring a little bit of the concealer on the jaw bone. Yeah, it's just definitely a little more cut here, like where the jaw bone kind of mm -hmm. comes out. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna blend it onto the lips. Yay! Yes, let's do the lips. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of concealer on the lips, and I'm gonna try a gray nude, more of a gray beige nude, um, instead of something that's maybe more peachy. I'm also gonna show you how to make your lips much fuller using eyeshadow. <laughs> I like this trick. <laughs> it really does wonders. Okay, so we're gonna do a very nude, sort of pinky peachy lip liner. And I'm gonna go slightly over Emily's lips, but because this is so light, it doesn't look super lined. Oh my God, Em. It's insane. Whoa. That's so crazy. It's crazy. That does wow. look like well, weird. Okay, wait, we have more lip down there. I don't want to miss one millimeter mm. off this lip. So I'm just gonna take a nude sort of grayish beige color. And since we already have it outlined, just for Emily's lips, this works really well. I don't want to put too much product, so I'm just gonna take my fingertip and pat right on top up until I feel the edge of the lip. Mm. And I think using a color like this just makes it nice. a little, yeah, like a little less sweet, a little more tough, mm. being a bit more gray beige. So that same eyeshadow we've been using, we used it to contour. I'm gonna use that color above your lips. I'm just gonna go right at the edge of the lip line. When you first do this, it is gonna look a little crazy and a little sort of like mustache. <laughs> Which is not what we want, <laughs> but I promise you it does make the lip look fuller without having to add more lip liner. Oh my. <laughs> does it look crazy? <laughs> like a mustache. I look like a different person. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so then you just take the um, a little concealer and you can just sweep over so it doesn't get too strong. But you see, it actually creates a shadow just like it would contour your cheekbones. So that's how it makes it look fuller, naturally. I'm gonna take a little bit oh of this. Oh my god, it did work. It just really looks much fuller. I'm gonna go on the out. You can turn your head a bit this way. Just to get rid of any of that pinky lip liner, we're gonna go right on top using that brush. Whatever's left on here. Yeah, so you just use eyeshadow too create lip line. One thing we're missing here. Hmm. It's that beauty mark right above the Ooh, eyebrow. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think it's just, here's your arch, and I think it's just a tiny bit in. I'm gonna hold it, and I'm gonna spin it. <gasps> oh my God, that's it, that's it. And the final step is just a little touch of powder. I'm gonna be really gentle with it because I don't want it getting on the lashes. And I feel like Angelina's pretty matte. Oh my god, you guys. It's Angelina Jolie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think you Ranch look like her? I think I look like her. I feel like her. 
these steps really did work. Okay, everyone, this is the final look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know that I did because I get to walk out of here with this hair and makeup looking like Angelina Jolie. I think my husband is going to be very surprised when I come home. <laughs> um, thank you for watching and thank you for being here. If you like this video, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. That lip contour Funny. was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>